Hello and welcome back to Dental Basics. I'm Dr. Parvati Raghavan. Let us learn about the non-keratinocytes of the oral mucous membrane. Oral mucous membrane is made of two types of epithelium, keratinized and non-keratinized. You can watch my video on oral mucous membrane for more info. In both these epithelium, you can see that there are certain cells which look totally different. And these cells do not have desmosomal attachment with adjacent keratinocytes. Desmosomes are specialized adhesive protein complexes that hold the cells together. These cells are the non-keratinocytes since they do not produce keratin. And they are Langerhans cells, Merkel cells and melanocytes. They constitute 10% of the cell population in the oral epithelium. When the tissue is being fixed and processed for study, the cytoplasm around these cells shrinks, producing a clear halo around the nucleus. These cells do not take up the color when stained with hematoxylin and eosin like that done by keratinocytes present around them. So they are also called as clear cells since they show a clear cytoplasm. This is because the cytoplasm is rich in glycogen or other material that do not take up the stain. These cells perform unique functions and let us find out what they are. Langerhans cells They are the standing soldiers of the mucosa. They alter the immune system to prevent entry of pathogens and commensal microbes, example bacteria that are usually present as a part of the normal flora of the mouth. Langerhans cells are able to differentiate between self and non-self antigens. The antigens that originate in our own body cells, example proteins, are known as self antigens. Those that do not originate in our body but are produced by viruses or bacteria etc. are called as non-self antigens. Due to these properties, Langerhans cells respond to oral squamous cell carcinoma, candida, lichen planus, lichenoid drug eruptions, periodontal disease, median rhomboid glossitis, HIV infections, hairy leukoplakia of the tongue, nickel in patients with nickel allergies and graft versus host disease. Merkel cells are clustered in rate ridges but are also found individually in the basal layer. They provide information on pressure, position and deep static touch features such as shapes and edges. This is because sensory nerves surround the basal half of these cells within the epithelium. The highest number of Merkel cells have been found in the gingiva, palate, buccal mucosa, especially in chronically damaged oral mucosa like in lichen or chronic non-specific inflammation and also in mucosa overlying tumors. Next are melanocytes that produce melanin pigment. They are larger than their neighboring cells and have slender branches that fit into the intercellular spaces. They contain melanin granules produced by melanosomes. Through these branches, the melanin produced is passed on to other epithelial cells for storage. Each melanocyte is in contact with about 30 to 40 neighboring epithelial cells. So sometimes melanin hyperpigmentation can occur. And this can be physiological. Like dark skin people tend to have melanin hyperpigmentation of oral mucosa as compared to light skin people. However, the number and distribution of melanocytes are the same in all humans. The functional activity of melanocytes depends on adrenergic and cholinergic agents, growth factors, endocrine stimuli, inflammatory mediators, etc. Due to this, oral mucosal melanin hyperpigmentation may be an indicator of premalignant or malignant lesions or pathological conditions like tobacco-related melanosis, HIV-associated melanosis, melanotic maculae, nevomelanocytic nevus that is blue nevus, oral mucosal melanoma etc. Other functions of melanocytes are they act as physical barrier to invading microorganisms. 
They can lower the rate of inflammatory processes. They contain lysosomal enzymes such as phagocytose, toxins and enzymes produced by bacteria and degrade them. They sequestrate or separate or remove redox active metals like iron and organic toxic compounds found in many diseased tissues. They act as antigen presenting cells and produce cytokines. Cyto means cell and kinos means movement. Cytokines are soluble proteins that stimulate the movement of cells towards site of inflammation, infection and trauma and mediate communication between immune and non-immune cells to regulate immunity, inflammation and hemopoiesis. They also inactivate microenvironment stressors like reactive oxygen species and free radicals. Reactive oxygen species is a type of unstable molecule that contains oxygen and easily reacts with other molecules in a cell. There is maintenance and regulation of a balance between keratinocytes and non-keratinocytes, which helps the epithelium of the oral mucous membrane to function properly. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Do leave a comment, give this video a thumbs up and share. And if you enjoyed this video, want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You can also click on any of these links given here to watch a video of your choice.